Hello, I'm Louisa and today we're going to be talking about bias strips and what you could use them for. So this video will come in four different parts. The first part, cutting and joining. The second part will be sewing it onto a piece of fabric for binding a neckline. And the third part will be piping and the fourth part will be ruler loops. You can of course buy bias strips coming in different widths. Slightly narrower one. These are cotton. This is a satiny one, which might give you a nice shiny edge. Another cotton one, but I like to make my own. These are ones I've made. And this is a silk one for piping the edge of a bodice or something. So let me show you how you can cut your own. I'm going to use this old sheet with fun stripes on. Now, you can buy yourself a dressmaker's set square. This is called an easy angle and quilters use this. But if you don't have one of these, don't worry. The best way to get a bias strip I should probably explain that bias is cut on the cross, 45 degrees. This is a right angle here, and I'm going to lift up the corner and sew it's at a right angle, cutting across the grain of the fabric. So now that's at 45 degrees, I'm going to cut along here. Now that I've cut my first line of bias, I'm going to cut the strips. And I'm going to do these about three centimetres apart using my rotary cutter. If you don't have one, you can just mark it and uh, use a pair of scissors quite easily. I'm going to cut a couple of strips. Oops, where should we cut it? It's a bit blunt. I have now cut my two strips and I want to join them together. This is how they will eventually be joined. And we want to create a right angle. I want to sew from this corner to this bit. I shall do that and come back. There we have it, sewn together. For the purposes of the demonstration, I've used a different colour thread, and you can see that I have stitched from one edge to the other. Pressed it open, and there you have it. You can trim off So now we have a long strip, which we can make into spaghetti straps, rouleau loops, piping, or binding the edge of a neckline, or any piece of fabric, which I will show you in part two.